In this video, I'm going to evaluate the integral of f dot tr along the closed curve c in the positive direction, where c is a circle of radius 5 centered at the origin in the xy plane, taking f equals to yi minus xj. So, given that information there, we evaluate that uh, line integral. We first look at what we are given. We are given that our f there is yi minus xj. At the dr there is equals to dxi plus a dyj. So substitute uh, those into the integral there. I will have the integral along the closed curve C in the positive direction of yi minus xj dot dxi plus dyj. So when you take the dot product there, we multiply the corresponding elements, those with the i, then those with the j. And our integral will become of the integral along the closed curve c in the positive direction of y dx minus x dy. But we are given that the c there, the curve is a circle of radius 5 centered at the origin. And the equation of the circle with uh, radius 5 centered at the origin is x squared plus y squared is equal to 5 squared. When we have a term of the form x squared plus y squared equals to 5 squared, it is convenient to use polar coordinates to evaluate uh, the integral. So here we are having our radius is equals to 5. So using polar coordinates, we'll be having our x is equals to 5 cosine theta. And then our y, taking our radius to be 5, we'll be having our y is equals to 5 sine theta. And then from this equation here, we can find the derivative of our x with respect to theta, and it will be minus 5 sine theta. From this equation here, we can find the derivative of y with respect to theta, and it will give us 5 cosine of uh, theta. So this is a circle, and uh, we are moving in the positive direction. So our theta will be varying from 0 to 2 pi. So that's the information that we have now. But from this equation here, we can uh, rewrite it so that we have a dx there. So we have our dx will be equals to minus 5 sine theta and d theta. I rewrite this equation so that we get dy and we'd have dy is equals to 5 cosine theta and d theta. So now what we have there is we have our x is 5 cosine theta. Our y is 5 sine theta. Our dx is minus 5 sine theta d theta. Our dy is equals to 5 cosine theta and d theta. And uh, our theta is varying from 0 to 2 pi. We then go on and substitute into our integral here. So for the first part, we have y dx would be having the integral from 0 to 2 pi of 5 sine theta minus 5 sine theta and theta. For the second part, we have minus x dy. It will simplify to minus 5 cosine theta times 5 cosine theta and theta. Now looking at uh, this part here, we can uh, multiply those and uh, that will simplify to minus 25 sine squared theta and d theta. And uh, on this part here, it will simplify to minus 25 cosine squared theta and d theta. Now looking at uh, this term here, we have a minus 25 and minus 25 here is common. We can factor it out of the integral there and we would have minus 25 times the integral from 0 to 2 pi of sine squared theta plus cosine squared theta and d theta. So that's the integral that we have now. But if you look at this term here, sine squared theta plus cosine squared theta. From trigger identities, we know that sine squared theta plus cosine squared theta is equals to 1. So that highlighted part will be a 1, and our integral will become minus 25 times the integral from 0 to 2 pi d theta. And when you integrate there, we we'll get minus 25 times theta, then put in the limits 0 to 2 pi. When you put the limits 0 to 2 pi, we get 2 pi minus 0, which gives us a 2 pi. So we'll remain with minus 25 times 2 pi. Minus 25 times 2 pi gives us a minus 50 pi. So what we are having there is that integral along the closed curve C in the positive direction is minus 50 pi.